and as it relates, this shape, this shape that the spout makes in relationship to the handle, you know, this negative space that is created by the handle and the way it attaches down on the belly of this wonderful filling, lifting teapot that says, I'm full, you know, I'm full of tea, look how full I am. I feel I'm full, I'm not a hollowed out rock, you know, I'm full of tea. And then this foot lifts it all up and presents it to you like that, you know? That's what I think about when I'm working, see? You know, not I'm making a teapot and bingo comes to my head, everybody else's teapot in the world, you know? I'm making my own teapot, see? I don't care about everybody else's teapot. I enjoy other people's teapots, you know? But I don't have to make them to enjoy them, see? It's like I don't work in porcelain. I really just like porcelain immensely, you know? It's like cold cream, you know? I love other people's porcelain. So, you know, if I can avail myself to other people's porcelain, then I don't have to make it, see? And that's an important thing. Now, if my, if my, if my uh, uh, image or, or, or my thought concept dealt with that quality of porcelain, then I would have to learn how to deal with porcelain because I would go to that technique then to, to make my object, you see? So I think it's a really important thing that we approach our, you know, our pottery, whatever it is, it doesn't matter what it is, we're just talking about pottery. So look, we'll use the pot as a, as a catalyst today in, in this three days, you know, the, the image is learning, you know? And, and to get at a whole lot of other basic issues and concerns, you know? It's also, you know, it serves on all kinds of levels, see? It's great therapy, you know? You've got to admit, it's therapeutic, you know? You're out there, boy, and you're really shook, you know? And you're wedging that clay, and you're pounding it, you know? And you're really taking your frustrations out on that clay. I mean, that's good for you. You're not out there beating somebody's head against the wall, you know? You're not licking the kids, you know? It's really neat that you have clay that you can whip. Yeah, that's all right. See, I'm going to whip down that with leather. There we go. See, do it with the clay. So it serves on that level, you know, too. So there's lots of levels that, that clay uh, uh, deals with. See? So let's try to deal with it on some level, right? So just shut up and get all our little things here. I'll try to sort this stuff out from uh, doing it, okay? I'm not very organized, right? Okay, so I'm going to start. Okay, that's it for the announcements. I'll bring the coffee pot around in a minute. <laughs> I'll just punch you out. Otherwise, I'll charge you. Uh oh. <laughs> so, anyhow, we get her out of here. And, uh, well, I already I'm changing my mind, so don't no worry.
said, well, that, that borders on a profound or a silly or something, you know? So I don't do things now that hurt when I do them. And I think it's a good idea. They, yeah, but, you know, that's why I guess I like to play too. It's because it is a, you know, a pleasurable experience, you know? I like what happens when I'm wedging clay, you know? I can feel it, you know? When she's doing all those things and everything, you know? It responds to your touch. It's a nice thing. I don't, I don't, uh, I can't wedge a lot of clay anymore. I, I do have, you know, the shoulders, or <laughs> shoulders, my arms. This body used to be x-rated, honestly, God. That's so much funny, too. God, it's a good shape. I don't know how I got to be 52. I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, I went down there. You know? So, but I wedged smaller pieces of clay, see? But I figured out, you know, if you can wedge two small pieces, you can put them together and make a big piece, see? Oh, that's easy. Sure, I mean, we got that, you know? So, that's a good idea. And that's, you know, that's why how the, you know, the section pieces come to be. It was because I had, you know, such damn pain in my shoulders, and it was constant. You know, it's 20 below zero, and I'm out working in a barn with this little space heater and knocking the ice off the water. And, you know, wow, it was really hurt, you know? So while well, I do small things, and I'll put them together, you know? Because I was telling my kids, see, I wasn't listening to what I was telling my kids in school, you know? I tell them, well, if you can make a one-inch cylinder, you know, you can make a 30-inch pie. Just put a lot of one-inch cylinders together, you know? It seems like a simple thing to do. And I thought, why don't I listen to what I'm saying sometimes? We do that, don't we? I mean, we, you know, I was teaching a lot of times, I'm talking like, sometimes we don't even listen to what the hell we're talking about, see? So, why can you ask them to listen to? So, I, I was, you would watch as I would load the biscuit, you know? And you put one pot here and a pot like this and a pot like that. So, wow, is that the option? You know, so I need energy. So, so why I'd go back and make what I just loaded the biscuit, you see? And maybe it came us in forms. And it did. It opened up a whole new uh, possibility of form concepts, you know. Because those things that you put together piecewise, you just can't throw those things, you know. But at that, you know, at that time period, it was into the, into the macho thing, you know. A lot of clay, oh boy, a lot of sweat, pain, you know. You know, you know so I'd throw 120 pounds of clay and I'd make a, you know, uh, those upside down urns I used to make like that, see? Then I got out of that, you know. I said, well, that's not really where it's at, you know. Actually, it's a lot better than this place. So, out of the need, you know, most things grow, right? You get right down to it. There's a need for me to continue working. So I had to figure out how to do it with having a stand person. Now I get these things with my nuts, you know? My whole body's falling apart. <laughs> Take out paper and shit or something. Just gonna be walking around the wheel. Juice. Probably why. Well, it's two years that I found out something. Oh man, for years I've been walking around the wheel, running, running, running. It's gotta be the easy way. Why do people like this? You know. This has got to be the easy way to do this. See. See how it works? Yeah, what is sense? Yeah, I love it. Well, I love electricity, you know. It's great. Well, when I would, you know, it's hard to think that you're going to uh, recreate your own studio, you know, here. You can't really do that. But, you know, it's something the way that I would work anyhow. You know? Yeah, yeah. Sangria, stop it. <laughs> okay. So find out, you know, so I don't make too complete ass of myself. You know, what the wheel does and how the clay works will make some little things come up. And I do like to throw off the hump, you know, when, you know, when I start out a lot of times. Like I haven't thrown clay. I had a flu for this, you know, I've been out of bed. It's the third day I've been out of bed, you know. I've been in bed for like three days, you know. Just wipe me out, Lou. Just wipe me completely out. I mean, literally. <laughs> oh, God. Anyhow. So to get back in, so I haven't thrown for a couple, three weeks, I guess. So I'll get back into the swing. So I would do this if I were home, too, you know. Gather some clay and just, you know, start with a lump. Start taking some things off the hump because it's easier, you know. You don't have to wedge each piece that way. And this also, you know, lets you figure out, you know, how the clay works, what's happening with the clay, but also lets you figure out, you know, what the hell's happening with you, you know. At 
these are, I would say, I guess will be a little bowl, bowl forms, I guess, something like that. I don't know. I suppose some of you know you usually are. So I try to throw as, as close to the finished form as I can, you know, when I'm throwing. So I don't have to deal with it again, you know. Like <clears throat> churning, trimming, you know, is not one of my more exciting things that I like to do, see. So I don't do much of it. So I try to, you know, set the, the bottom foot. I just have to see how the play goes. So I am working. I guess when I was talking to Russ, you know, if there aren't 50,000 things there, like in three days of work, you should have a lot of pieces, you know, but three days of the workshop work, we're not going to have that many pieces, finished pieces, okay? Okay, it's just that where it's information, you know, like, I don't have time to entertain you, you don't have time to around being entertained, and that's okay, you know, we want to get something out of it, both of us want to get something out of it, so that, you know, if I can explain to you what I'm doing when I'm doing it, I can't kind of explain before I'm doing it, because I don't know what I'm going to do before I do it, you know what I mean? So, it takes a little longer, and, and I don't care about the numbers of finished pieces, okay, just let's get that out of the way, okay? So, I was gonna, when I was doing this, I happened to think about it, well, I, was, I guess what I'm trying to do, I don't, you don't, Never say never, right? I uh, I rarely, not too often, do I. I'm trying to get the right word to be right here, you know. Not too often do I. What the hell is that? A double thing, isn't it? Not too often do I. Wow. Uh, think what I'm doing first. This gets me in a lot of trouble, you know. But it's exciting knowing how to get out of the problem you got into. See, it's like the way I shoot pool, you know. If I play position when I shoot pool, I never make the ball, you know. So I just make the ball, and where the cue ball goes, I get out of that problem. You know? That's kind of way my life is, stuff like that, you know. So, but anyhow, I'll try to. Do so what I'm trying to do here is set up a a a, a, a contrasting uh, uh, element of this this uh, 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 smooth angular bottom of this bowl form, which will come up into a swelling, and then something else will have setting up some oppositions. You know, I think that's what my work's about. I like to deal with that opposition. I suppose gaining unity through opposition, that kind of opposition, you know, uh, constructive opposition. And that deals with, with uh, uh, line and dealing with texture, surface, all those things with opposition. See, the oppositional forces are right. I kind of like what this does right in here, you know. I don't usually care too much about wheel information, you know. Like, that's what the little rings are. Like, it's how I did it, you know. If I look at a piece and the first thing I see is how I did it, uh, it's not going very far, you know. It's the first level that I want to see is the object, you know. Then I want to come back into, gee, oh yes, I'm wondering how they did that. It's okay, that's okay to come back to. But the first thing you see, the dominating role is, look how I did that, you know. Boy, can't you see I can throw? Look at all those rings. See, it's hollowed out. I didn't tool it. Look at that, I didn't tool it. I got nothing against tooling. I tool out more. I tool out, out the center of a lot of balls I tool out, you know. There's nothing sacred about not tooling, you know. I mean, it's easier. If you get the hump in there, you know, and you like the form, tool it out, you know. It's, really easy. It's no big, you're not being sacrilegious or, I mean, don't feel bad about it. You know, it's okay. Matter of fact, it really makes you feel good sometimes you tool that out, you know? I say, yeah, my instructor's there, especially if he or she's watching you, you know? All right, you know, lay the tool right in there. Okay. <laughs> hey, look at you, I'm tooling it out. See it? See it? You know? Sometimes it's good. It's therapy. <laughs> you know? That's all right, dude. Don't worry about it. Okay, so I think I'll, uh, yeah, that's not, okay, I kind of like what's happening. I might soften it, quiet it down a little bit, see, right in here. I'll just, just so I take a rib here, and I'll just quiet some of those down. They just gentle it down a little bit. You know, see, a little more right in here. I think I'll terminate this thing with a nice, uh, hefty rim. I'm not doing porcelain, I'm doing stoneware. So, okay, so maybe I'll just terminate this in a little bit. Okay, I'll just... Yeah, okay. I just work until something happens, you know. It's kind of, kind of important. Now I got too much. I got to take some of this out. I don't like all this in here, so we'll go back to the end and take some of that out of there, see? That's better. That's better in there, see? Okay. And then, if I. Do that towel. If I'm going to do much, uh, now I will tool these, you know, because. I, I want to lift that up and I'll...